somehow or another you maybe get a short from a DC, a heavy duty piece of DC equipment and that mm -hmm. conductor is now inadequate yeah. and uh, melts down. Hello and welcome to another one of our Boat How to Ask the Expert series. I'm Jan Attenstedt. And uh, I'm Nigel Calder. And uh, today we've got a question uh, about grounding. And the question is, how do you size the cable that goes from AC ground to DC negative and from DC negative to the zinc or the water? Grounding is not an easy topic. Um, so what's the requirement for these, for these cables, Nigel? I think we're actually talking three different conductors. We've got the AC grounding circuit, mm -hmm. uh, which gets tied to the grounding bus and then to the water. That's going to be sized just based on whatever the conductor size is in that yeah. grounding circuit, mm -hmm. which normally in America would be a 10 gauge or a 12 gauge uh, conductor. Yeah, I mean, that's the grounding wire that's right. already normally in the same same yeah. conductor in the sh same sheet yeah. as the other two AC conductors. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got, if we have a grounded DC system, which almost all of us mm -hmm. have, we are going to have a connection from battery negative to the grounding bus. Mm -hmm. And that one has to be big enough to carry the highest conceivable fault current that mm -hmm. get on the DC grounding circuit. Could be a cranking current or it could be a windlass or a bell thruster. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be a pretty hefty mm -hmm. conductor. So basically probably the same size as your main negative yeah. uh, battery cable. I would, uh, say. I would say that's a good way to size it. And mm -hmm. then the third conductor is the one that goes from the grounding bus to the water, mm -hmm. to whatever we're using as our in the water ground. And that one, uh, depending on to what we're grounding, the purposes, if we're just grounding for bonding and light and um, corrosion prevention, mm -hmm. it's got to be a minimum of eight gauge in the American system. If we're grounding for lightning protection, mm -hmm. it's got to be a minimum of six gauge. Mm -hmm. uh, and if it happens to be the main ground conductor from the lightning rod down to the water, it's got to be a minimum of four gauge. Yeah, or 25 um, square mil uh, yeah, in, some, in the European system. So it really depends on what the function mm -hmm. is here. It's complicated yeah, yeah. and it confuses a lot of professionals mm -hmm. and sometimes it confuses me mm -hmm. um, because we've got all of these different grounding circuits on the mm -hmm. boat. You can easily uh, undersize a, a grounding mm -hmm. conductor and you size it for one thing thinking you're grounding for, mm -hmm. for corrosion prevention mm -hmm. and then somehow or another you maybe get a short from a DC, a heavy duty piece of DC equipment and that mm -hmm. conductor is now inadequate yeah. and uh, melts down. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to look at what's the worst case current that might mm -hmm. occur on that conductor in a serious fault yeah. condition and then make sure it's big yeah. enough to carry it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, to kind of uh, get a bit of clarity in that complex topic, we actually have a whole module on grounding mm -hmm. yeah. and then separate modules on lightning protection, uh, AC systems and um, corrosion prevention. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you do all of these topics in our advanced marine electrics class, you'll uh, yeah know basically which way to size which conductor. You'll be pretty well equipped theoretically. And then mm -hmm. when you come to put it in the boat, that's <laughs> it won't well, that, that so might easy. be another story. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but at least yeah. you know what a good system should yeah. look like. And um, if you, especially if you do a major refit or you're, um, you're building a new boat, it definitely makes sense to, to build it up to these standards for safety reasons and also mm -hmm. to prevent corrosion, which is a big issue on uh, metal parts in your boat. So check that out. And um, yeah, we hope to see you soon. <laughs> Take care.